Hey guys, what I've got for us today is Snap-on's newest air gun. I got this air gun in the summertime, so it's been hanging on the air compressor for a few months now. It's been drug across the shop floor and got a few little battle scars from it. It has held up well. I'd say based on how I've used it that it's plenty durable. Um, Snap-on, lifetime warranty. May, there, I'll show you that. Made in Denmark. Um, it's a good air gun. Uh, let me tell you the, the goods and the bads about it. The good about it is, is it moves a ton of air. It is well built and designed well to do that. Um, these are the Venturi inlet holes and they are vectored or machined in a way that they point towards the nozzle. The outlet hole from the air gun into the Venturi nozzle is large. The Venturi nozzle is long, so there's plenty of room for Venturi effect to occur. And what that means is a little low pressure zone gets created back here. It sucks in air and gets nozzled towards the front where it, you know, shoots out more air. Snap-on claims this thing can put out up to 21 cubic foot per minute of air. And I can tell you it blows very hard. I don't, I don't have any way to measure that 21 cubic foot, but it does blow really hard. Compare this Venturi nozzle with sort of the standard um, Venturi nozzle that comes with a little air gun kit. This is a little Craftsman air gun. It's the same made in China air gun as everybody else's. Uh, this is the Venturi. It's two little dinky holes. There's not very much room for the Venturi effect to occur. The holes aren't vectored towards the nozzle front. And the air inlet's modest. In fact, comparatively speaking, the air, or outlet rather, the air outlet from the gun into the Venturi nozzle is about 40% larger, I'd say, on the Snap-on. So, it's a big, nice, handy feeling air gun with a big, nice Venturi, blows a lot of air. That's all the good. It's a Snap-on, it's got a lifetime warranty, all good. The bad. The first bad is the price. This is off the Snap-on website. This is a $75 air gun. Yeah, you gotta really wanna blow something off to buy a $75 air gun. Part number right here, AT4190, and uh, up to 21 cubic foot a minute, and um, it claims to be OSHA compliant for those of you that that matters too. The reason I bought this air gun is mainly because it was shiny and new on the Snap-on truck and I got, uh, I got hustled. But the, the, the main reason, the, the really main reason is the main way I clean off my shop is uh, with an air gun. I, I take the air gun, I blow out the shop. And uh, when, you're, when you're cleaning your vehicle, you know that rear view mirror, you wash it and, the, and you got water behind the seal on the rear view mirror there and it kind of drips down slowly, leaves a little mark on the side of the car. If you blow that mirror off, then you don't get as much of that. This does a better job at that than this. So that's what I bought it for, was to clean the shop and then blow off cars. The positives, it, it works as advertised, and I'll show you that in a minute. The negatives, it's expensive, and the other negative, the big negative, it's loud. And I don't mean loud like loud, I mean loud like screaming, banshee, right in your ear, piercing your soul loud. In, in the firearm industry, silencer companies talk about the tone. That's, that's kind of a big word in the silencer industry, the tone. The tone is so nice, the tone of the shot is so nice. You'll, you'll see that over and over again in literature or hear it from silencer salesmen. And what that means is, is though this thing here has got the same decibel as this thing here, this thing here isn't as high pitched, so it sounds nicer, okay? This thing here is nowhere near as high pitched as this thing here. This thing here is epic loud. The first time I used it, it took about five seconds for me to decide to go get my hearing protection. I will, uh, I, I was gonna do, get a decibel scale thing and show you that, but, uh, well shit, I didn't feel like it. 
So hopefully you can hear it on the on the microphone here. Hopefully it'll pick up the difference in sound. I'm gonna show you the difference in, in how this sucker blows one compared to the other. Okay, I've got a nice dirty shop here. What I'm gonna do is, is I've got the, the regular air gun here and I'm gonna blow this stuff and then I'm gonna change the air nozzle and blow with the snap on. So, here we go. Okay, sorry about that. It's a cold morning. I forgot to get the compressor kicked up. So here we go. So I've just blown this off with the little gun and stood here waiting for the compressor to shut up while you were in high speed and now I'll blow it off with the snap-on gun. And like I say, I hope you can hear the difference. Hopefully you could hear the difference and, and like I say, hopefully you could see the difference. I've got another little deal I want to show you here. My daughter actually showed me this. Goofing off. Here we go. So I'm blowing on my arm. I've got kind of my wrist relaxed so that all we've got is this forearm tissue to deal with. So I'm about, oh, six inches away. See that dent there? Now watch the snap on gun. Let's do that one more time. Compressor's getting a little light already. I'm further away just so there's no question. You'll hear the compressor kicked off. Let me show you what it's kicking off that fast. That's a Craftsman, I think it's 30 gallon tank, um, dual piston deal. And uh, yeah, so it uses a lot of air. Okay, so there you have it. It can really clean out your shop, it can really blow hard, it can really damage your ears, and it can really hurt your pocketbook for $75. But if you want a blow gun that's gonna really, really move some air and really, really be a useful tool, I don't know of anything else better. Like I say, maybe that Blue Point gun for 18 bucks might be a good kind of in between the dinky little Chinese blow gun and the super awesome Denmark blow gun from Snap-on, but I don't know. I'm, ultimately, I'm glad I bought it. Um, you know, $75 will come and go, but uh, the blow gun with the lifetime warranty is here to stay. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like the video, please comment below and uh, please hit subscribe. Thanks, guys.